to celebrate the 11th annual Unite here at the Crockett. And I think that deserves a round of applause, right? Dean of College of Arts and Letters, Dr. Sherry Myers. So tonight, I want to celebrate the and. And. So for a few minutes tonight, I want to focus on the and. As in the College of Arts and Letters. And for our new art building, which is being built right now. And what we share in common. Well, I think that with the help of literary theories in psychoanalysis and philosophy, um, we are able to dissect these novels and connect the literature uh, in new perspectives about issues that have been around for centuries, such as patriarchy, gender roles, social class disparities, and feminism. We're presenting about uh, courtly love or amor cortes, uh, which is a literary conception that originated at the end of the 11th century and the beginning of the 12th century, in which uh, men fell deeply in love with a woman that um, was an of a higher social class or she was married, which means that this love was um, impossible. I'm going to just have a talk about several different art forms to show how the varied experience of Muslim Americans is um, connecting religious ideas and <laughs> cultural forms. I'm showing several different forms of Muslim American art to engage with the idea that when we look at a group, we can see the diversity of that group through multiple art forms. And so hopefully you enjoyed and got to see a little different aspect of Mexico, all the richness that we have in our traditions, dance that combines not just the indigenous community traditions, but also the uh, African and Europeans. So the first one that you saw is the combination of the uh, European and Mestizo and indigenous traditions versus this one being uh, indigenous, but also being African. So being representative of the Afro-Mexican communities in the East Coast. represent you know a long history of, of Africans and people of African descent and, and I think in a positive way so the symbols you know a lot of them like there's some that represent education uh, there's some that represent greatness and so I think the positive um, accountability of the meaning I think is something that hopefully someone would want to because you know, I do have people that are not even far as I know they're not necessarily black but they just like the symbols and like the, the meaning of them. So I you know, try to do something that's positive and something that um, is kind of more in the line with what I have to do, which is logos and letters. Hey, 